Hey, what's up, you guys? Todd Falcone. Welcome back to ToddFalcone.com. Okay, so I probably will go in a couple of different directions in this particular video, but it's all about giving better presentations, being a better presenter, getting better results with presentations. And of course, presentations come in many different forms. It could be a business presentation. It could be a training presentation. Somebody's presenting something with a purpose and the purpose is whatever that purpose is. Let's talk about a business opportunity presentation, whether it's done on video, whether it's done on a webinar, whether it's done on a conference call, a one-on-one, -on -one, however it's delivered, what's the end desired result of a presentation? Typically, it's to sign the person up into the business or say, see you later. In other words, to give enough information where at the end of the presentation, the person says, hey man, this makes a lot of sense to me. I wanna do this with you. Or, you know what, it doesn't make sense to me or it's just not my thing and I don't wanna have anything to do with it. So. The end result typically is to get to the end of the presentation and have a person's decision collected. So here's my suggestion for you as a network marketer wanting to be a better presenter, give better presentations, and get better results. In other words, more signups, more distributors, more customers. One of the first things I would typically do if I was gonna join a network marketing business today is I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna go, and I've, I do this with my A team members. I, I tell them to go find the person that's getting the best results. The top recruiter, the person that's on the leaderboard, the person that's getting results, that's constantly getting stuff done, and see if you can figure out what they're doing, how they're presenting, uh, model whatever the heck it is that they're doing, and duplicate that. So. Um, one suggestion I would have for you is look in your upline sponsorship and leadership that you work with and find out is the way you're presenting or what you're presenting to your uh, potential customers, potential distributors, is it the same presentation that's yielding this particular person such phenomenal results? Sometimes you might find out, you might just get confirmation like, hey, I'm putting people in front of the exact same process, the exact same information that this top distributor is doing. Maybe I'm just not putting enough people through it. Um, or you may go, oh my gosh, I just found out that I'm using like this video, which is fine, but it's outdated and archaic and it's actually providing wrong information. And you may find that out too. Because who knows, maybe the person that brought you in wasn't as plugged in, wasn't as connected and didn't even realize that there was some new presentation that was available. So in order to be a better presenter, you want to study other presenters. Why, in fact, like here, here's, here's something that that I would suggest doing. A lot of times when people go to a presentation, let's say, well, let's just stay on the business opportunity presentation thing. You go into a business opportunity presentation, most people that are there in that room are focusing on the presentation and they're watching the presentation and they're plugged into the presentation. I want you to be thinking about, as, from a presenter standpoint, the energy in the room. So not only are you paying attention to what's being said and how it's being said in the presentation, but how does, it, how does the energy flow in the presentation? And is there any time where all of a sudden people start to get kind of fidgety in their seats and kind of losing their attention span? And what was the reason that speaker in this case lost the attention of the audience? See, these are little things that you can pick up on when you go in with kind of a different set of eyeballs. And instead of just going in and listening and learning, you're paying attention to all the other clues that are going on, which will help you to become a better presenter. Because then if you can go, wait a minute, because I've seen this happen so many times, where I'll, I'll be in a presentation and there's great energy and people are like plugged in there at the edge of their seat. They're totally plugged in. They're like, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. And then something happens or something is said or maybe a different speaker gets up and then ear, the energy of the room goes and then people start kind of even looking around. You can tell that they are now distracted and it's like losing, um, you know, being a storyteller and not being a good storyteller. I mean, the people that are effective storytellers maintain the attention of the audience that they're speaking to. So two things. Okay, I got some weird noise in my office, but I'll figure what that out is later. Two things, number one is find out if the top recruiter, the top leaders on your team, in your upline, executive, outside, wherever they are, the people that are crushing it, 
are they doing are, are you doing the same thing that they're doing in terms of how you're presenting the products business service opportunity okay number two is start to go into especially certain well, live presentations with a different set of eyeballs yeah i'm here to learn and listen and plug in but i'm also paying attention on more of a, a macro scale a bigger scale like the bigger picture of what's happening in the room because that's going to help you become a better presenter as well and you know what uh, in network marketing and pretty much any business, we do a lot of presenting. So the better off or the better you are at presenting, the better results you're going to get. You're going to be able to teach this to your people on your team as well. So, hey, stay fearless. We'll see you on another video. I'm sure sometime soon. Have an amazing day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.